Hi there and welcome to another tutorial from Beport and Make Your Transition. My name is Paul Nolan for Make Your Transition and today we're going to be exploring some Tech House production techniques using the brand new Triad Sounds Tech House 2018 pack which is an exclusive pack to Beport Sounds. So if you're a big fan of record labels including Relief, Hot Creations and Tool Room this pack is absolutely going to be for you. So let's get this pack into our DAW and see what's on under the hood. Okay guys, so we're in the brand new Ableton Live 10 and we're gonna get the Triad Sounds Tech House pack into our library here under places. So I'm gonna click add folder as we normally do and it will open up a browser and you can see under my sample packs folder here, I can select the Triad Sounds Tech House folder and I can click open and there it is appearing at the bottom of our places. So I can click on the folder here and you can see it's opened up one of the eight construction kits. So what you get with the construction kits is basically all of the major parts you need to get going with a track of your own, including kicks, hi-hats, claps, snares, all the major drum categories, and then onto bass, vocals, pads, synths, everything you need to start making a unique track of your own. And also these kits are meant to be interchanged, so you can very quickly take these packs off into your own unique direction. So as you can see here, I've actually got five channels, but four of these channels are actually groups. So starting with the drums, I can open this group out by hitting the little icon here on the right hand side of the channel title at the top. And you can see it folds out into four or five different drum channels. So I've got four different drum sounds in red and this orange one here, which is actually a percussion sound, which we'll get to a little later on. So. I've picked out various different sounds from the various kits, starting with this kick drum here. And you can hear that's quite a nice meaty kick. And what I've done with a lot of these sounds is I've actually sweetened them using a little tiny bit of EQ, rolling a little bit of the low end off the kick drum just to tighten it up and make room for the bass. I've also added an auto filter here with the MS2 mode, which fattens the kick drum up a little bit using 1 dB of drive. It also allows me to take the low end out of the kick at the appropriate time within an arrangement by rolling up the filter cutoff as it's set to the high pass filter mode. So as you can hear, that's gonna be great for build-ups, breakdowns, little passages in the track where you can play around with that and give the kick a little bit more life and a little bit more of a roll in things. Next. We have a lovely clap, really nice classic 909 clap. And going into the EQ again, I've just rolled off using a high pass filter on the EQ8 at 125. That just sits the clap on top of the kick drum very, very nicely. And just added a little bit of brightness here with a high shelf of around 3 dB at about 5.5k. Now that's where the real snappiness and the crispness of claps and snares tend to be. So it's always a good idea to maybe give that just a little bit of a push just to make it cut through the mix a little bit more. Next... Beautiful 909 style hi-hat, very, very popular in the tech house genre. And you can see I've just rolled off the bottom end again. We're talking around about 240 hertz. And then on the top end, I've actually rolled off using a low pass filter just to stop it from getting a little bit harsh. Another little trick you can pull is by using a simple delay with a 3 16th note delay on the left hand side and 1 16th on the right. Feed in the feedback around 22% and then at the right time push the dry and wet to around about the same around about 25 percent and you get a lovely groove like so adds another level and another gear into matters then we have another layer of hi-hats as you can see from the file it's much more busy and much more complex And again here, what I'll actually do is add in the high pass, turn on the filter. I 
Again, roll off a little bit of that harshness from the top end as well. So you get a nice balance between a brighter open 909 hat and those more punchy, more rhythmical, lower, slightly darker closed hi hats in the newer file. Now, finally, we have a percussion sound, which I will add in. And again, that can be transposed, maybe down a few semitones, maybe try minus seven semitones. You can hear there's a little bit of echo on that as well, which I've actually fed in using Send B all the way over to the brand new echo feature within Ableton Live 10, which sounds absolutely brilliant. Dialed in a little bit of reverb. And again, I've got an eighth note here on the left hand side and then an eighth dotted on the right hand side and set it to the ping pong mode. Sounds absolutely brilliant. Now to fatten our drums up, just as a final finishing touch, I can use another new effect in Live 10, which is the drum bus. So even if I dial this in with 0% drive and I turn the damping all the way up to 20,000, you'll hear it adds a huge amount of punch to matters. So just dial that down to about 60%. I may add maybe 5% of drive here just to really get the drums pushing and getting them nice and aggressive within the context of the track. Okay, so moving on to the bass, let's have a listen to one of these two layers that I've added, which is a nice rolling, chugging bass line that gives the track lots of groove. Okay, so a nice simple bass line, but I want to give it a bit more bounce. So I've gone to the bass group here and added a glue compressor, which we're going to use as a side chain compressor. I've also added a side chain channel with our kick drum from the track added into it. So it plays along with the channel, but it will be muted so it can't be heard. This is what's known as a ghost side chain. So I'm going to go back to the bass and our glue compressor, switch the side chain input on and have it select the sidechain input, which means it'll now compress along with the kick drum, but it will actually make the bass bounce and groove a lot more. Now adding that into our drums. You can hear it bounces along really nicely. Now adding in our second little hit here, which is just a little single note bass stab. That just gives us an extra little movement that we can add in at the right time during an arrangement. And some of that is sent off on Send B over to our echo effect, which we use for the perk in the drums as well. Okay, so moving on into the synth now, I've got a nice little synth chord, which will add a little bit of musicality and a bit of movement. So I really wanna try and add some variation to this through the track. So I'm going to go into the channel here and show you that I've actually just added a little bit of EQ here just to clean up the bottom end, really make the top end come out in the mix. I've also added an auto filter with 3 dB of drive in that MS2 mode you saw earlier on the kick. But I want to change the frequency cutoff as I go along so the chord gets darker and gets brighter in the context of the arrangement. And to do that automatically, I'm going to use this Max for Live LFO. So I'm going to hit map on the frequency and you can see it's bouncing around quite a lot there. So I'm going to change it into a note sync, have it move over the course of four beats back and forth, and it'll sound like this. So you can see I've just took the depth down a little, added an offset, turned it into that four beat note sync there, and it moves along quite nicely. So this is just gonna be a basic technique on how to layer vocal samples. So I've got a low 
more soulful, more emotional kind of vocal layer here. So it's a lower pitched kind of longer sound. And then I have a shorter, more percussive, higher pitched, more stabby sort of vocal cut layering over the top of it. And they really augment the groove and all the other layers that we have. So let's play that together. And as you can hear, I'm just adding a little bit of echo to that lower sound, again using Sem B. And on the more stabbier sound, I've added a little bit of reverb using Send A with my reverb setting as it is here. So with the effects, I've got a couple of layers again. This one here is a bit more of a nice reverse. And that allows for it to roll on through the track with the reverb that I've added using Send A. And you'll also notice as well, I've just dropped that by seven semitones to give it a warmer and darker feel. And it rolls quite nicely with the overall groove. I've also got here a nice sort of crash sound. which again is a little bit more noise based and again echo and using a bit of Sem B as well. So at the right time during an arrangement, these things are going to work quite well. So let's play the whole thing with the crash to begin with. So you can hear the two of them working quite well together. Okay, so to finish off, I'm going to add a pad and I'm going to do this in a slightly different way to give me more flexibility. So I found this really nice pad sound here in kit number six. Which will just add a little bit of character and a little bit of emotion, but I want to be able to manipulate it a little bit more deeply. So I'm going to right click in the blank space here and insert a MIDI track, go into that MIDI track and then drag the audio clip into the MIDI track, which will add it to a sampler. So I'm going to switch the warp engine on now within the simpler, and I'm going to then play some chords on my MIDI keyboard, which gives me the ability to thicken this up and give it a bit more oomph and a bit more vibe. So you can hear it's a much thicker sound. So I'm just going to add a little bit of volume here, just about 6 dBs worth, add a little bit of reverb, add a little bit of delay again, hit record, and then play these chords in. Stop there, I've got nice chords here now on a four bar loop, and then I can add a little bit of filtering just to make it a little bit more characterful and stand out even more. So there you have it. That is the Triad Sounds Tech House 2018 pack, which is exclusive to Beatport Sounds. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial from Beatport and Make a Transition. I'm Paul Nolan, and I shall see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.